right, good morning everybody. We're here for the uh, uh, landing clinic. Uh, what we have today is uh, Carl, the club president, is going to go over a technical explanation of the landing process. Uh, we have Jason Benson, who is going to give us uh, his interpretation of landing uh, and some of the unique character characteristics of our field. Then we're going to move down uh, to a, uh, a flight demonstration, a landing demonstration by Carl and Jason using different kinds of airplanes. And then after that, we'll move into some volunteers who want to actually pilot their airplanes and have Jason or Carl uh, there kind of coaching them through the, the landing yeah, process. Fly. And this is what I'm basically going to talk to you about today. The type of aircraft you fly has a flight envelope. And that flight envelope basically determines what your stall rate is, what your sink rate is, what your, how fast you can go, how slow you can go. Um, most airplanes that we fly, uh, like these, their envelope is so wide it's unbelievable. I mean, there's just, your first flight, your maiden flight, you should determine what your flight envelope is. You should take it up, stall it, hold the elevator, hold the elevator, hold the elevator, watch what happens, she'll fall over, she'll go this way, she'll go that way, or she may go forward. That'll tell you right now what it's going to do on landing. Right now, that's exactly what it's going to do. You're downwind, you throttle back at a certain point, you turn on the final, you're just coming across, and Jason's going to go over this with this field. I know when I go to any field I go to, and I go to a lot of fields and fly, I will walk out to the flight line, and I will look to the left, and I will look to the right, and I will get my own kind of airplanes, these kind of warbirds. It's just like flying a low wing ugly stick. It really is. People tend to make more of it than it really is, but you want to make sure your control throws are set. You want to make sure you check your flight envelope. You want to make sure your engine's running right. And there's the four bait, you go through downwind, turn on the base, turn on the final, start your glide path. And you want to control your glide path. You don't need it like this. You don't need it like this. You need it somewhere like this. <coughs> okay. Then you start pulling back on the stick, which is you're basically um, now leveling the aircraft off once you reach a certain altitude, and you let it go. And you're basically holding back stick, back pressure. You're holding that back pressure. You can't level it back. You can't let the stick go back to level. If you do, it goes like this. So you're holding back pressure. You're holding back pressure. And the slower the aircraft gets, the more back pressure you need. Now, if the aircraft begins to rise up, let a little bit of the back pressure out. If you let the back pressure out all the way, it's going to go like that. Now, if you rise up, this is a cool one. If you rise up, you get to gain altitude, let a little bit of the back pressure out, and add about two clicks of throttle. And all that's going to do is make it go, it'll rise right in. Okay? And the slower you get, the more back pressure you give it, the more back pressure you give it. It's critical that you flare. Most RC pilots don't flare. Get it all the way to do your stall testing into the wind. Just like you're going to land. Level the wings, we cut the throttle. We start pulling elevator to maintain level flight. And this one's a lot more gentle than the Cessna. See, I just kind of dropped the right wing. I was totally livable. That I was full elevator by the time I did that, and that was, I was totally predictable. I could have seen that stall and counteracted it without a problem. So next we'll go vertical, get a little more altitude up. Next, we're going to do it with flaps, because we've got flaps on this plane. So first, you want to see what it does with the flap, without the flaps. Now, we'll see what it's going to do with the flaps. We'll get level. Deploy our flaps. It's ballooning, because that's what they do. Throttles off. Elevator does the same exact thing, but see, uh, you really can't counteract it. A little quicker, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, because it gets to the stall faster. Yeah. So with a little throttle, I can get a little nose-high attitude. And 
Now I'm adding throttle and I can actually maintain it. You have throttle control there. Okay, flaps are back up. The problem is the mountains have something against me. They like to bite my airplanes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do our approach. We're going to do it just like we did before. I always make my landing approach on a, on a maiden flight a little long so I can set up and make sure my glide path where I want it to be. Okay, into the V. We'll drop the flaps now. We're off on throttle. Flaps are down. Flaps are down. Okay. Add off a little on bit throttle. of throttle. Off throttle oh, right now. Adding Add a little bit. Nice and slow. You just use the rudder, right? Slow her down a little bit. Nice.